This is Angelique and welcome to my TED Talk. Today I'm going to be talking about conflict resolution. The definition of conflict resolution is a process of resolving a dispute or disagreement. It mainly aims at reconciling opposing arguments in a manner that promotes and protects each party. I found that there are five steps of solving conflict resolution. Step one, identify the source of the conflict. If you get more information about the conflict, it would be easier to resolve them. Step two, look, look beyond the incident. The source of the conflict might be a minor problem that occurred way before. Step three, request solutions. After getting each side of the story about the conflict, the next step is to get each to identify how the situation could be changed. Step four, identify solutions both disputants can support. Point out their merits of the various ideas, not only from each other's perspective, but in that in terms of the benefits it's to it is to the organization. And lastly, step five, agreement. The two parties involved need to come to an agreement and shake hands to actually consider the conflict resolved. There was a point in time where my half sister had to move in with us and she had to share a room with me. I was at first super excited because me and her are really close and I thought it was gonna be super fun to have her as a roommate. But then I didn't realize how small my room was and how much clothes and shoes she had. Um, so when she started moving all her things in, I told her that either she's gonna have to get rid of some things or she's gonna have to put them in the garage because my room was too small to fit both of our things. She got upset and basically this turned into like a mini war between us. She would constantly move in more and more clothes and I would get irritated and put them in a bag and stuff them in the garage. And it came to the point where she would stop sharing the bed with me. Like she would take up all the room and have no room for me. And so basically the little war that we had was getting worse day by day. And so my mom finally had to come in and talk to us and she told us that we were too old to be acting like this and that we should be compensating instead of fighting. And so when my mom was done talking to us, we were talking about how much fun we used to have um, when we weren't arguing and doing all the things we were to each other. And so we came to an agreement where we would split the closet and split the dresser and share some of our clothes and the rest of her clothes would go in the garage or in the hallway closet. And um, it didn't really take us long to come to an agreement. There was honestly no need for us to get in any type of conflict, but it was, it was all resolved in a matter of hours. That was my personal experience with conflict resolution. Obviously, there are different forms of of these conflicts it doesn't always have to be between friends and family it honestly mostly happens in workplaces but it's all about how you handle it and when you handle it for instance my conflict with my sister shouldn't have gone on that long because it wasn't even that big of a deal when you know you have a conflict with someone you need to either try to fix it right away on your own or find someone who can help you so it doesn't turn into something bigger now i'm sure that it sounds easier than it actually is but i mean when you would what would you, what would you rather do like resolve it and be fine or continue it and add on more stress if you think about it i'm sure everyone you know has their own experience with with conflict resolution eight people sometimes ten live in my house and it's only a four bedroom two bathroom household so pretty much every day there's conflict going on, but the most important thing is that we know how to resolve every situation. If you ever get into a conflict with someone, use the five steps that I talked about earlier to help you deal with them in a good manner. My mom always taught us that no conflict or fight is worth losing a bond over. So get over it and work it out before you lose someone or something important to you. I always thought that was something worth remembering and I always use it when getting into fights with my siblings or friends. Sometimes when I've tried res to resolve things with friends, it, oh, it doesn't always work out, but that just means it wasn't meant for it to work out. Because those people were probably like, weren't good for me and I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, I'm 
a drama free type of person uh, but I can't help it if drama comes my way because for some reason it always does um, you can always learn things from comic resolution you can learn why you got into the conflict in the first place you can learn how to settle it and you learn how to not get in that conflict again conflict resolution can't always be solved alone sometimes you need someone to listen and walk you and the other person through it depending on like how bad the conflict is because some people can be hard-headed and not get anywhere anytime soon but you can't have just anyone help you it has to be a non-biased and mature person person that you know will help uh, that you know will help resolve the situation and not actually make the situation worse so if you learned anything from this talk um, i hope you always remember the five steps um, identify the source look beyond the incident request solutions identify solutions and come to an agreement i also hope you remember the wise words from my mom um that no conflict is worth losing a bond over and to get over it and work on it before you end up losing someone or something really important to you so that's the end of my ted talk and i hope you actually learned something about conflict resolution